my step one, what I've done is pre-drilled the holes where all the carbon fiber tubes are going to go through. So there was three areas here. And this one's going to be with a screw set in here to hold the wings together. And in the meanwhile, I pull the wings off. And I'm letting the ailerons blocks glue here. So my next step is to go ahead and install the aileron servos and put everything together, all the wings together. So now I've installed the elevator steps. It's moving along here. Let me get a different view for you guys from the side here. So as you can see there, it's moving quite well. So now I go ahead and install the elevator servos and the aileron servos. Then I install the rudder. So, for my nose gear retract, I'm using a rebar number 607. What I've done is epoxied brackets like you would get with a kit that's ready for retracts. And use the standard nose gear strut that comes with it. Alright, go ahead. Come stand right here. Closer to me. video I finally re received the uh, fan unit I've already installed the motor as you guys seen there on the uh, thrust test I gave I stopped at three-fourths of a throttle because there was dust and everything blowing everywhere there's more than enough watts to push this plane I'm guessing the plane is going to weigh about seven and a half to eight pounds uh, it's still feeling light 
I'm waiting on the main gear retracts now so I can finish that. I did install the front nose gear retract, so everything's moving pretty smooth here. So look for the next step here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some work on the ducted fanned area and make sure that the unit fits in there nice and tight so there's nothing but straight airflow going through there. But a uh, little new motor has a lot of power. That was on 10S, 10 cells, so I can go all the way up to 12 cells. So 10 should be more than enough. 11 will be a plus. So let's uh, keep the bill going here and uh, let me get back to work.